Hello everyone, my name is Sheikh Irfan and in this video we are going to see history of road development in India. I will start with very first evidence of road development in India and till date how much is the development of roads in India that we are going to see in this video. So let's start with the very first evidence of road development. See the first evidence of road development in India can be traced back to approximately around 2800 BC. The first evidence of road construction or road development was found in around 2800 BC in ancient cities on which cities uh, they were they were Harappa and Mohenjo-daro cities. So we have proof of first construction or first road development in India around 2800 BC in the cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro of Indus Valley civilization. Then Many ruling emperors came and uh, they reconstructed the previous roads. They built the roads they connect, to connect the various cities, such as one of the most famous roads in the history was Grand Trunk Road. It is one of the Asia's oldest major roads, which was rebuilt by many emperors, by many kings. First, by it was rebuilt by Mauryan Empire then further rebuilt by Sur Empire, then by the Mughals and then by the British Empire. So this is one of the Asia's oldest major road which is that Grand Trunk Road and it was rebuilt so many times by Mauryan Empire, then rebuilt again by Sur Empire, then Mughal Empire, then Britishers. Then in 1830s the British East India Company started a program for the construction of gravel road construction or metal road construction. They named it as metal road construction and they started a program in 1830s for both, it, its purpose were for, was for both, for commercial as well as for the administrative purposes. So in 19, 1830s, the British East India Company started that program of gravel road construction. The type of road was gravel road construction and it was both for commercial as well as for the administrative purposes. Then in December 1934 Indian Road Congress was formed and on the recommendation of this Indian Road Congress a committee was formed. That committee was Jaikar Committee. In 1934 Indian Road Congress was formed and they formed also a committee that is nothing but Jaikar committee and Jaikar's committee's recommendation was to propose a 20 year road development plan and that first that was the first 20 year road, road development plan. We have three road development plans, 20 year plans. First 20 year plan was Nagpur plan, then we have Bombay plan and last one is Lucknow plan. So we have total three famous 20 year road development plan. So, Jaikar committee proposed first 20 year plan and that 20 year plan was known as Nagpur plan to increase the road network of 3,50,000 km to 5,32,700 km by 1963. See, it was planned for 1943 to 1963. And the target was to achieve road density of 16 km per 100 km square of area. Means for every 100 square km of area, there should be at least 16 km of road. That was the target as per the first 20 year plan that is Nagpur road plan. And it was started from 1943 and its target was to end it in 1963. But this target was achieved two years earlier means it was achieved in 1961. So what did they do? It was achieved just in 18 years. It was targeted for 20 years but they achieved this target in 18 years in 1961. Therefore second 20 year plan was proposed and that, pro that was proposed in 1956 a highway act was passed. So as per that highway act, second 20 year plan was proposed and that is known as Bombay road plan because at that time the name of Mumbai was Bombay. So 
the second 20 year plan was proposed and that is that was named as bombay road plan and it was proposed for the period of 1961 to 1981 because the first 20 year plan was for 1943 to 1963 but we have achieved in achieved it two years before therefore the second 20 year plan was for 1961 to 1981 and its ambition or its 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 target was to double the road density in previous first one nagpur road plan it was 16 kilometer per 100 square kilometer of land but in second 20 year plan that is bombay road plan the target was to achieve a road density of 32 kilometer per 100 square kilometer of area it was double of that then third 20 year plan came and that was named as lucknow plan and in this lucknow road plan that is third 20 year road development plan the roads were divided or categorized as primary roads secondary roads and tertiary road systems now which roads can be said as primary roads as per this lucknow plan in primary road system there were express highways and national highways then in secondary state highways and major district road and in tertiary road system they ca they categorized or they taken other district road and village road so in primary road there were express highways and national highways in secondary roads state highway and major district road and in tertiary road system other district road and village road so this was categorized or classified into three road systems primary secondary and tertiary now what was the road density target in third 20 year plan that is lucknow plan the road density target was 82 kilometer per 100 square kilometer of area see in the first 20 year plan that is the first 20 in the first 20 year plan that is nagpur road plan it was only 16 kilometer per 100 square kilometer of area then in second 20 year plan that is bombay road plan it was targeted that the road density should be 32 kilometer per 100 square kilometer of area and in third third 20 year plan that is lucknow plan it was targeted as 82 kilometer per 100 square kilometer of area so these were three 20 year plans first second and third that is nagpur bombay and lucknow then in the road development history of india in 1988 an autonomous entity or body called national highway authority of india was established and it was established by an act of parliament which came into existence in june 1989 see it was formed that is national highway authority of india it was formed in 1988 and it was came into existence in june 1989 so what was the function or what is the function of this body we have seen in the classification of roads video that the function of national highway authority of india to develop maintain and manage india's road network through national highways means its purpose or its duty of this national highway authority of india is to develop maintain and manage india's road network through the national highways then in 1998 national highways development project was started by that time prime minister that time the prime minister was atal bihari Vajpayee. so he started national highway development program that is nhdp in 1998 so one of the important road project of nhdp is 7142 kilometer 4 to 6 lane road of north south and east west corridor which consists of national highways that connect four extreme points of country see one of the biggest or one of the most important projects of this nhdp is 7142 kilometer 4 to 6 lane uh, road or corridor and it connects four extreme points of country so that is one of the biggest projects and as of may 2017 under nhdp about 28915 kilometer 4 to 6 lane highways have been constructed see so it is one of the most important bodies you can say nhdp 
because as of May 2017, they have constructed about 28,915 kilometer four to six lane highways. Then, now what is the current situation of road development in India? See, India's rate of road construction has accelerated since 2010. As you can see in this diagram here, it was averaged about 12 kilometer per day in 12 2014. to 2015 then in 2015 16 it was averaged to construct 17 km of road per day then in 16 17 it was 23 km in 2017 18 47 km and in 2018 19 it is averaged to about 30 km per day in 18 19 but in the country's target is to build 40 km of highways per day as it is getting increased first we targeted it for 12 km per day in 2014 15 then 17 then 23 then 27 then in 2018 19 it was targeted as 32 30 km per day and now we are targeting to build 40 km of highways per day that is the current situation of road development in india so this was the video about history of road development of india thank you